next performer is Nyla Monet. Yeah. And here's what Nyla has to say. Nyla Monet and Katy Perry have a lot in common. Both are colorful performers. Both have a thing for shifty-eyed, petite white guys. That's what's that? And both are tired of Taylor Swift's crocodile tears. <laughs> So without any further ado, we have Nyla Monet and of course Noel Steven and the Darlings. Her, her 
childhood. So Katie's first album was She Did What Good Christian Girls Do. She performed with her parents from age seven to about 17. She learned to play the guitar. She traveled with them to all of these revivals that probably lasted all night and the laying on of hands. Those of you who have been down that road as I have know what that scene probably looks like. <laughs> and the first thing that Katie did when she decided she wanted to become a singer was to release an album called Katie Hudson in 2001. Who's heard that album? <laughs> so 200 copies. 200 copies. So Katie very quickly decided, okay, this is not who I am. So she rebranded herself as Katy Perry, and she released One of the Boys in 2008. And the very first, most popular single off of One of the Boys was what? I Kissed a Girl. I Kissed a Girl, because that's what all good Christian Southern girls do. And we like it. <laughs> and needless to say, this song got the most, the very first place, the very first radio station to give it the most rotation was in Nashville, Tennessee. Because we love God, we love our mamas, and every now and then we love to kiss a girl. <laughs> it's all right. So that's one of the reasons. Now, Katy Perry, when she's asked about her religion, because her parents are really religious, and she said, you know, I pray all the time for self-control and humility, except for that one time she kissed a girl. Yeah. Um, and then a couple more reasons. One reason that she has to be a Southern girl is because she married Russell Brand, who obviously is not the perfect match for her, and obviously her mother did not like him because Southern mamas don't like anyone for their good girls. So that's the final, or that's the seventh reason. The final reason, I came across, no shit. Like, I'm so serious. You can see it on my phone. If anybody can read that this headline, and this is from February 28, 2016, so I just ran across this. Katy Perry is moving to Wetumpka, Alabama. <laughs> so she has to be a Southern girl. She said, and I quote, I want to farm, I want to cattle, I want chickens. <laughs> I'm not giving up my career, I just want to move to a place that feels so different from what I've been used to all my life. And for me, that place is Wetumpka, Alabama. <laughs> Christian-loving, mama-loving, sweet tea-drinking, kissing girls, southern women. <laughs> so what I figured is, in order to welcome Katie back home, we needed to sing her song, California Girls, but we're going to sing it like southern girls. Where are my southern girls? Let me see. Just a second. Do I have any? A few? All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to sing Katie's California Girls, and I have a cold. Um, but that's not any excuse for the way that I'm going to sound. <laughs> but I just thought, you know, that could be a disclaimer for when I hear all these terrible notes. So what I'm going to do, I have some, some people helping me out. So you may see some, take out your cell phones, because I'm going to need some help with this. I'm a former K-12 teacher, too, so I like audience participation. So we're going to sing Southern Girls, California Girls, a remix. And it's all about Southern Girls. So when you hear my voice cracking a little bit, somebody just come on in and, and pick up my slack, okay? And I do have a southern accent, but it's just, it's not this serious, but for the occasion it works. <coughs> Isn't that what all good singers do before they start? All right, here we go. Y'all ready?
Hey!